and we're back in Maxville. Hey everybody, welcome to episode 9 and today we're going to be looking at a couple of things. One, we need a new tile. Two, we've got a couple of issues that we need to definitely fix. Three, we have a population cap to try and hit and four i really want to start thinking about mass transit because the city is growing we're at sort of sixteen thousand uh, already now and i'm thinking if we don't start putting this in now we're going to run out of time later to be able to do it so without further ado let's jump in so one of the first things that I wanted to fix was in our Al Reserve, we have issues and we can see here that we're still having issues. So we've got death care problems. We've also got no access and entrances for the cargo area or vehicles to the park, uh, which I think is going to be causing some problems. So I think I might have an idea for that. But more importantly, I want us to be able to have a road connection from the other side. So what we're going to do to start with is get another tile. We're going to take the next one across. And what this is going to allow us to do in theory is to be able to create a road connection where we'll cross over on this side and then we'll be able to start developing on this side as well which is fantastic but more importantly we can just have a sneaky little road connection here which i think is going to solve everything uh, at least solve the dead people so let's see if we can get that sorted now but here we can see we've now got our connection across the river if we can build this out very simply, get a connection to the Owl Reserve, I think that's going to help us just fix this problem. And you'll notice that I'm using a slightly bigger road. It is a four lane. The road that goes all the way along our riverside is also four lane. But I think in the next few episodes, there's going to be some redevelopment that's going to have to happen along that waterfront. And I think a bigger road is going to become necessary because the only thing we've got is the highway in the middle of the city. And long term, that's just not going to work. So I'm going to build out a little bit of a grid area around here, something that we can get set up with and something that will be able to help us just build out another new little development, a little suburb as it were, and we'll get this sorted now. Brilliant. So we now have a road connection here, which means eventually we will get these problems solved, i.e. so many dead bodies. We can already see police cars coming rushing out from that area because again, we had to put police because we were having issues. So that's all now going to be hopefully resolving itself slowly bit by bit. What this does mean, however, is that there is a entrance to the park in technically well technically speaking so that's going to be something that we're going to have to have a think about but we'll see i don't think it's really going to make too much of a an issue at this stage and we will deal with that afterwards but one way or the other i'm just happy to see this hopefully get resolved the second thing that we wanted to sort out was obviously crematoriums that's why we were so desperate to get to that last milestone and objective so now that we've got this and you can see we haven't placed any anywhere so this is going to be something that is fundamentally important we're going to have to add some of these in and i'm going to try and find little corners where we can sprinkle these in but where they don't necessarily destroy too many buildings retroactively oh i think i just got rid of a oh no i thought there was a path or something there so we're going to go through that and that might seem like overkill but genuinely the biggest issue with this death care thing is that obviously everything starts to go haywire. You can see here we've got a ton of issues along the river walk as well, which is a real problem. So I think what we might actually do is add an additional one that hopefully just services that. OK, next on our list, because I'm noticing that these aren't going away. So I think that's just too far for anything to get all the way around to then end up doing something. So I am going to just create. Is that actually a hearse? It is. So they were actually driving all the way around. But I think just to kind of speed this process up, what we can do, we'll attach some water. And this will just allow us to very quickly, not necessarily cheese this, but yeah, to be honest, it's a, it's a little bit of cheesing. I'm going to throw one in there just to try and get rid of that. And I've just realized that I've probably bad choice of where to put it rather than next to the electric power, but that's OK. I'm hoping that'll cheese that and just make it work so we can get rid of these and that's what's really important to me currently. Okay, so to help us level up, which is the next piece of the problem, I think we're gonna add an additional new neighborhood. And I think looking at how we've been building out down this way and how everything's coming together, I think we're actually gonna focus it on this other side of the river. I think this will give us a good opportunity to have something, again, just simple kind of grid format, but something that'll just be enough hopefully to increase our population we need to get up by about another two and a half thousand uh, and that'll help us get to the next milestone objectives and i am wanting these fairly tightly built but at the same time i'm wondering whether we could have some sort of a bigger asset in the middle as well so let's see what we come up with 
this area is super flat so this is perfect to just build out and take advantage okay with everything covered there that's fantastic and then i think what we're going to do as well because we've got this historical police station i think we're actually going to move this out of the park in theory that should work and then what we're going to do is just add in some services really quickly to this new neighborhood which has all got water and all connected and ready to go Okay, so just whilst I was planning out this neighbourhood, we've just received this, which is our academic year report. We have gone up again now to recognise, which is great. And I think it's going to be really important for us to jump in. As soon as I finish this, we're going to try and jump in quickly into the trade school and just fix up some bits and add and see if we can get to that next level. Okay, so this now has everything it needs to fill out, which I think is going to be great and what we're going to do is we're going to paint in some commercial zones all the way along this side, I believe. And then we're going to stick to residential for the biggest part of this. I think we'll have a couple of pockets, just small pockets of commercial. Just notice that for some reason, this block didn't line up properly. I'm not going to change it, but that's just kind of a little bit annoying. Going to have a little bit more commercial down this side. And I think the closest parts to the trains, train lines at this stage will actually be office space quite often see offices back to back onto the rail lines and especially when I'm taking the train into London that happens quite a lot let's be honest I want to try and see if I can get our connection to jump here if not maybe here just for now these won't be long-term solutions but they'll definitely be temporary ones and looking at this I've decided that I'm going to actually change some of this we're going to do something cool here in the middle I just haven't figured out what yet and I think we're still looking for more industrial demand so i'm going to add in some offices and i'm going to add them in into the two blocks that are a little bit weird and wonderful we're going to cover the rest in high density residential and what i've completely forgotten to do clearly was to throw in some parks and playgrounds of course it wouldn't be maxville if it didn't have a little bouncy castle somewhere and there we go i think we're going to just leave this set it and forget it to be completely honest oh we left one area empty for some reason Let's just throw that in there. And I think we're going to just leave that. I think this will help us get to the 19,000. This will slowly develop and just keep growing, hopefully. You can see here we've already solved some of our issues, which I think is fantastic, finally. Uh, the inside area doesn't seem to be getting fixed in terms of the dead people problems. So I am going to try one more thing. What happens if we literally throw a crematorium into here? Can they get out? They can, and they're getting out, and they're directly inside here. And of course, they leave the district straight away. That makes perfect sense. Not. Okay, next on our list to do, we're going to quickly sort out the Aspen Trade School, which we still need a name for. This isn't good. Let's have a quick look. So we need more students, that's for sure. I think actually at this point, we might even enact a visiting scholars, and I'm going to give them an additional research grant so that we keep those academic works coming along. We should have some new buildings now as part of this trade school. Trade school cafeteria, trade school fountain. I feel like we've received all of these things. Yeah. So obviously we had gone up and then I think we went back down. So it's just a case of making sure that this doesn't go back down. And in terms of RC Sports, how have we been doing? Let's go and check out. Oh, we lost the last game. Okay, so I think we can probably help ourselves a little bit with that and maybe throw in an additional few coaching staff make this a winning team so that that continues to help us grow it looks like we've got an abandoned building here in the middle just fix that up and now we've got to start thinking about transit because currently everyone basically just has to jump in and get their cars and we're not doing too badly but we can definitely see there are some parts of town that are just completely broken and it's because there is literally no transit whatsoever we haven't actually built even a bus depot at this point so we're going to have to do something about that so I think this is where I'm going to start thinking about in the future where I see things going and how I see things developing I have a funny feeling that this main road that goes through is going to turn into a four lane and potentially then join back up with this one at the top which would be an interesting way of doing it we might have to wait till we get that another tile option but this will definitely be a main connectivity network at this stage you can see it from a mile away it's shouting out to be used in that way we've obviously also got the trade school which we need transport to and from 
and I'm thinking that this is going to end up being our downtown, right? This part, Myrtle Hill, around that park area. All of this, I think, is where the density is really going to flood this side of the river, that side of the river, the Owl Reserve in the middle, and everything else will kind of splurge out as we get closer to the seaside and then we can have our tourism areas, our airport, etc. At some point when we hit our maximum number of tiles, we will simply unlock with 81 tiles everything so that we can continue building the city, hopefully. But for now, let's have a look and see how we get our buses up and running to start with. So I'm going to go with our biofuel depot and I believe everything is going to be from a transit hub point of view on this side of the river for now. I'm just having to think about where we're going to be able to position this and I think we're going to build Build a few extra bits of road just here where we seem to have enough space I think and we now have our biofuel depot which is fantastic so now let's have a think about how we're going to build these lines two clearly very urgent points the entrances to the park so I think we're going to have a north version of this that loops around and takes people to the park and then we can have a south version of this so let's do a north version quickly OK, so there we have our northern version of this little quick circle. And I think what I'm going to do is just reverse the same line as well. And I think anything that's going around the park should be the green line. And we're going to call this Park Line North. And we'll do the same thing, Park Line North. And then we've got it. So we've got Park Line North, Park Line North re reversed. And I spelled park wrong. We'll do the same thing now for the southern side of things. And I think, again, we've got the entrance to the park just here. So let's see where we can go around so I'm just going to reverse this now. And there we go. We've got our park line south, park line north. This will just help to alleviate some of that, hopefully, some of that traffic. So let's do this. And these will also be in green because they're all focused around the park. OK, so we're going to see how those two lines perform. That's our first problematic piece currently. The second piece is how do we get more people to the Aspen Trade School? So I think we're going to stick with buses currently because we have just built these. And if we look at our entrance point for the school, it's going to be here. So let's say from here we want to get somewhere into the city, don't we? Let's be honest. So we need to have and I'm trying to stay off putting stations on the main road. So what I'm hoping that we'll be able to do is come along here. So for this one, we haven't done a reverse version. We've just done a circuit so that it goes all the way up through town, comes all the way back down. I think that's going to hopefully help. I think, oh, there we go. We've hit our 19,000 population count, which is fantastic. This is going to give us some more cool stuff that we are going to need, which is things like the waste transfer facility, etc. That really helps to kind of keep things like garbage shifting through the city and getting to the places where it needs to go. So I think for this, what I was saying with the Aspen Trade School, and if we just have a quick look at this, Buccaneers are very much yellow. So I believe our Buccaneers lines should be yellow and these are literally going to be focused on the idea that these will service the trade school and we're going to call this the aspen school north line and then i think we're going to do a similar one again but just going down to hillside square all righty there we go so we've got this now as well so we're just going to call this aspen so we'll call that aspen school south and we'll be able to see now i mean already here you can see uh no sorry not in terms of passengers uh you can see the number of vehicles that are on these lines but i think more importantly we'll see how the number of passengers actually goes so this gives us some bus transport routes which is a great start but it's not everything we currently have two hot spots right belmont center where people love to come hang out and do stuff and i think again the buccaneer center being part of that as well so this is going to create a ton of traffic and people and we can see that when it comes to game time i mean even just now the car parks are rammed everyone's using them this is a very popular area second most popular area i would say or even maybe the first where we still have a lot of dead people this is all going to need redevelopment i did not do a good job on this river walk so i apologize about that in advance that will all get redone at some point where we've got these park entrances the park itself has had two and a half thousand visitors it's just a constant stream of people the river River walk as well you can see here we've got car parks that are rammed full of people there's no more spaces and I think again we clearly can just see that the traffic is all mounting up so how can we deal with this well I think there's two options and the one that I'm going to choose is going to be the metro now if you're not a fan of the metro I'm sorry <laughs> uh, being a Londoner we use metros all the time this is like a standard go-to for us tubes uh, the underground whatever you want to call it for us is a huge part so for me, this is what we're going to focus on. And I think we're going to even start with a line all the way back up here. I would love the ability to change the direction of the actual station so that it's not 
facing the wrong way. But let's see what we can do. I don't want it backing up onto the main road. That's why I'm kind of playing with this. So we're going to have one here where we've got our entrances to the parks, I think is going to be important. So we're going to try and fit one in somewhere around here. But again, I don't want it on the main road. So I think we're going to have to do a little bit of jiggery pokery. So this will mean now that this is facing onto here, but it's a really short walk to get to the park. So that should, in theory, help that. The second entrance to the park is over here. And here we've got slightly less traffic. But again, I'm going to try it, but this isn't something that I usually would like to do. But I'm going to try and put a tube, sorry, a metro. Oh, actually, look at that. You can go straight onto the pedestrian area. So let's try one there. And then finally, we've got the stadium and the sports complex, right? So this is where I believe, and again, this would massively help. I, I think it will massively help in terms of all the traffic that we're getting and all the cars and everything else here. So I'm actually going to even take out the last parking station, sorry, parking facility, and I'm going to add our metro in there. And finally, I think this is going to loop around and we're going to have a metro inside this busy hustle and bustle area. And if we wanted one more, we could even try and sneak one into Hillside Square as well. Not sure where, but that seems to have a little space there. So let's see, these will create noise, so we are going to have to be careful. Let me get all these tracks set up. And there we go, our first ever Metro line, which is huge, but again, it offers connectivity that we just didn't have before. This will also allow us to maybe have a different line that just goes north to south from Hillside to Applegate maybe. And again, we'll also be able to do one that maybe goes Butler Hill Heights to Myrtle Hill, etc. But for now, I think this is going to be a really useful one. I think for the metro lines, we're going to use red colours. And this one I'm just going to call north to south. So as we're continuing with this, and I think we're getting somewhere, we're going to start to see whether or not this actually works. So I think because we've hit our population cap already, which is great, we're going to go back over to our new district, which which we didn't call anything. We didn't even paint a district and figure out what we're going to do there. But for now, what I really want to do is fast forward a little bit and see how things start to develop in terms of people. I'm just noticing as well, oh, we're nearly out of water again. Okay. So we need, oh, we will be able to actually move these as well now that we have that new tile, which is nice. We haven't quite received yet the uh, eco water treatment plant. That's at 30,000. So that will have to wait. But for now, let's get another eco inland water treatment plant. And again, I think it's going to have to just go up here for now until we know where all of our services are going to go. Just checking our garbage whilst we're here as well, because I think ooh, processing status, we're quite low. And this is where this waste processing complex comes in, which is a mammoth building. But it will really help us in terms of the actual processing. So you can see here, currently zero. Uh, OK, sorry. So you can see here it processes like 192,000 per week. It's fantastic. And it also creates some electricity. So bonus, we're winning there. What this also means, I think, is that we can click this to empty and we can even and start reclaiming some of our spaces where we had landfill. Electricity, we are, wow, we're very, very on edge, even though we just built this as well, which I thought would help. Okay, we're going to need a next plan. I really like the idea of going with energy that's going to be cleaner. I think that's going to be important. We're making tons of money now every week, so I think we're okay in terms of that. But I'm thinking whether a geothermal plant could be quite an interesting concept. We don't have a huge amount of flat land here, which is what's worrying me. So for now, I think we're going to have one here, and then we're going to look at maybe one of the next episodes we actually focus on building a services area of some sort where we can just kind of include everything that we need. I'm looking at this as well. We've definitely got traffic build up. It's backing up here, so there's obviously something going wrong here again. This crossing probably for one. Can I actually delete the node? Wow, I wish I hadn't have done that. But it is going to help traffic. It just means that everything else has gone terribly wrong. So we'll have a look at that and hopefully try and refix that at some point. There's probably some lane mathematics that I could do. And also I'm thinking that there's probably a bypass for people that are going straight from the industrial area to Applegate district that we could cut out and hopefully help that as well. All right, so our new district that we never gave a name to and we never called anything, which also seems to be having a lot of issues in terms of people. Not enough educated workers. So we just need educated and well-educated. I mean, there's plenty of schools in the area, so that's definitely not the issue. 
This has been called middle square. Okay, fair enough. So let's figure out why all of these businesses are failing. And oh, wow. Okay, elementary school is the massive issue. University, there's a lot of eligible, but not enough capacity. So I think what we need to be looking at here is the elementary school. Let's go around our city and see where we can have some more. Although to be fair, most people seem quite well served. There's two up here, even though that's kind of showing not great. But here it seems to be like a choice. <laughs> People complaining about not having the schools, but they're not actually wanting to go to the schools. Okay, let's get a, let's actually maybe change this. Let's see what happens if we put a high capacity elementary school rather than the community school that we had. There we go. These buildings are huge and they do look quite funky, I won't lie. This area looks like it should be building really nicely, but it's just not quite been developing. And it seems like half of the place has just gone bust. All of this because of the educate uneducated workers. Okay, so unfortunately, a lot of this area is going to have to start redeveloping in its own time, as and when it decides it's right. For now, as well, we are going to need one extra little thing which I hadn't dealt with, and this is what we unlocked just recently as well, which is great. So we have these buildings called waste transfer facilities, and for now, this is just going to sit here. This is definitely not where it will stay. Don't worry, don't panic. But for now, until we figure out our services area, which I think is going to be really important important and probably one of the next episodes we're just gonna lamp that in there for now and this will just help with anything like here where we're having issues with garbage etc we will need an idea for maybe another park but i'm thinking i want to do something a little bit different so i don't know what we're going to do here we've got more area to expand over this side as well which will be great and that's going to be again just a nice way of building this area out but for me the biggest thing that we're going to have to redevelop is the whole river walk district i did not do a good job on this we need some bigger roads that's why i've already prepped this bigger four lane road that can go all the way along and i'm thinking that the pedestrianized area river walk might end up with one road along the riverside and one set of blocks all the way along but this will break this down a little bit more and hopefully give us a nicer way of doing this middle square is definitely going terribly well that fixes that problem and <laughs> We are still as well looking for a lot of industrial. So I do think we are going to have to get some more office buildings going. And again, this is the next piece. This area here, Myrtle Hill, Sheffield Hills, Applegate District, Riverwalk District, all of this is going to become our downtown. So this is going to have to start getting just that little bit more busy, denser, more filled. For the trade school as well, I'm just going to come in and have a look at something because we can actually build the police academy. So during the studies, cadets work on the police officer and also keep an eye on the jail cell occupants, increasing patrol car count, jails capacity and police department efficiency. Faculty increases campus attractors as requires a trade school campus area. So we could actually, wow, it's so big. So for now, I'm going to include this police academy, although it just makes me think of the films, to be completely honest. I'm hoping that this is going to just give us that little bit more. Oh, here we go. 891, 897. I think this might bring more students in. So if we can get this up one more star, one more level, I think that'd be great. We're going to hold off quite a while before building out the university. I think that's at like 30,000 people. So we've got a fair ways to go for that as well. But I do want to make sure that this trade school just keeps developing. I also really like the campus. Like it's quite a nice where it's actually ended up kind of just running along this riverside. I think this would be like a really, really nice campus. At some point, maybe a key wall along here, maybe even some ferry access to further up the city. We can do some interesting stuff there as well. Everywhere else seems to be going okay. I've just noticed, yeah, this is where we've put the metro lines. So what I am thinking, we might just put some offices around that. Great. So I think we're going to leave this episode here. We've done everything I think that we wanted to do, which was to get public transport started. Let's have a look. I mean, look at this already. We've got 482 people per week taking the bus. We've got 237 people a week already taking the metros. And I'm hoping that this may or may not have or reduced our traffic problems. See, we're still having these issues here. And again, all of this is because of the entrance to the park and the entrances to the river walk, which we just have to reimagine re this and we're going to have to do it differently. So I've got a couple of ideas. I'm going to map some things out and then come up with a better plan to redevelop that whole front area. Again, I know it's going to become a general theme. And then the next thing is going to be thinking about how we slowly move away from this type of industrial usage that we've got currently here. And if we can start reducing this and start 
doing things a little bit differently in that sense. Because again, remember, we've got train lines down here, which we could bring up. We've got train lines over here, which we would bring across. We will be able to move those cargoes a little bit easier, hopefully, within the city. But also, more importantly, if we move away from having all this dense industrial area like this, we're going to clean up this whole space for redevelopment. And slowly but surely, I think it would be nicer to have more, a bit like our Butler agricultural area, which although it's not... Oh, it's not making money at all currently. Although we haven't taken care of it. There we go. It's just come back into profitability. Although we haven't taken care of it for a while, we will add that onto our list of things to do. So without further ado, I think that's it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, please do feel free to leave a like down below. We've got tons of areas and districts that need new names. So please, please, please drop some ideas down below. Anything related to anything to do with this series so far. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.